Theater. The word itself comes from ancient Greek, teatron, which means the seeing place. And it specifically refers to a gathering of the audience, sitting upon wooden benches called ikria, watching grand spectacles play out before them. But theater is more than a place. Throughout history, it has been a way to express the hopes, dreams, desires, failures, foibles, rituals, beliefs, and every part of the human experience. It's a laboratory for experimenting with the human condition, mixing together the elemental aspects of who we are to witness the bonds that form or the explosions that sometimes result. It's also the meeting point for all the arts, music, dance, painting, and poetry. Working in theater means bringing together people with a wide range of talents, all putting their efforts, their creative efforts, toward realizing a single ephemeral work of art. In a word, theater is collaborative, and studying theater history helps reveal how and why cultures of the past put time, energy, and resources into collaborating on such artistic endeavors. Hi, I'm the theater history professor, and I study theater because at its most elemental level, theater provides the opportunity to explore the bonds of human collaboration in society. Story, ritual, representation, writing, and even architecture all contribute to the social life and identity of communities across ages from around the world. And if we hope to learn about the most pressing concerns of peoples from the past, we must study what they performed, how they performed, where they performed, and why they performed. Even today, we find a meaningful connection with those who watch the same shows on Netflix, listen to the same podcasts, practice the same rituals, and play the same games. Performance is the glue of community. Throughout history, theater played a vital role in social engagement, a place to collect, connect, and consider all that made life more meaningful for those within a given community. But what exactly is theater? I mean, how is it different from performance? Well, that's not really an easy question to answer, especially across history. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do here on this channel. I want to take you on a journey through history and look at the many ways people did theater in the past. But we have to be careful. We can't assume that the way that we do theater today is the same that people of the past did theater. If you go to an art museum today, you'll find examples of modern art that use the same basic skills and materials from thousands of years ago. But the reasons for making art and the process that brought about a work of art are very different across time. And the same can be said for theater. Performance is like paint in art. It's how we make theater. So when we study theater history, we have to study how and why performance was used and to what ends. And because not every performance can be considered theater, just like the way that pigments and paints can be used to create things that we don't consider art, we need a strong historical analysis to guide us in our investigations. So I hope you'll join me as we examine theater across history. But I want us to do more than just look at plays and theater spaces. I want us to dig into how and why a culture, society, or, communicate, or community utilize theater to accomplish goals and things beyond just entertainment. So let's lift the curtain on theater history and get the show started. Mm -hmm.